Hello, this is Leonard from Friendly Flock and today I'm going to talk about how we use our dogs in the management of the sheep in the area where we will herd in July. So I will introduce the two dogs that I'm working today. Uh, here's Belle. Belle. So she's a Kelpie dog <coughs> and Turbo. Turbo is the son of Bell. Turbo is a bit, uh, he's younger now, he's one year now and he's the son of Bell. So we don't use nettings or uh, parks, so we only use nettings and parks for the sheep to sleep in one place. This parks, these parks are sh shifting around every three days. But otherwise when they're outside we don't use netting, we only use dogs to keep them in check. not stay in one area for longer than at least three days or maybe even probably one day so for example today the sheep did graze all of that area in the morning they went up there and graze this part and this evening they'll get this part where they are right now plus we will go back a little bit up there that's why I'm blocking with the dogs this area where you can see where the dogs are because if not they would just run up there to the fresh grass all of all of the area that is up the hut we haven't touched yet with the sheep which went out there and the sheep have not touched all of that up there what we've braced is this part and all the way down there we've dressed already everything and we don't we what we will do is we will not return there in this season this will give the grass enough time to recover we hope so that there's more diversity coming and so the dogs if you can see they do a very good job of holding the sheep in check and but still they can still eat as the sheep are very stubborn so they will always want they will always want to go to the new grass and uh, fences keep them in quite easily but with dogs it's like a in a way in a virtual fence so the dogs always have to, to work to put some pressure uh, on the sheep so they don't go there where they shouldn't go so what we are trying to do is we we will put pressure on those sheep that leave that area so then the dogs will immediately release the pressure when they're in that area where they should graze so they feel comfortable where they should graze and uncomfortable where they shouldn't so the dogs are doing a very very good job keeping the sheep in check as you can see they stay quite well together and they are not running around everywhere like crazy in the meanwhile what the shepherd thinks he does what the shepherd really does. So what I do here is I use the dog, he goes in front, he puts a little bit of pressure there and then I call him back, so he comes there, which what will that do is that will uh, put pressure on there, the sheep, the dog will move in the flight zone through there, which will make the sheep go this way. So what I want is that the sheep go that way and that they won't go that way. So I, I use the dog, he'll go there because he wants to go there and I, I call him back. Turbo, yeah! So 
another thing that we use is not only dogs but we also use the landscape for creating our paddocks. Well, this will be in the next video I will explain how we will create or how we create those virtual paddocks so that it is easier for the dogs to herd and easier also for us so we don't have to also always push against the sheep work against them but trying to integrate them into the landscape so they flow in the paddock in a way. Stay tuned for the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time. Bye!